Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of February 19th through 25th. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each card and use your own intuition to take you beyond just what I'm telling you, okay? Remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And look at that. We've got the star card to begin our reading today. Let's put that into some context, all right? We're going to use our Dove and Serpent spread. And let's see what we've got coming out here. We're going to have a mystery card, bonus card. We have a lot of court cards here today. We're going to use our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're going to put that right there. We're not going to look at it until the very end of the reading, so stick around until the end. And we'll see how that card might tie everything together or give us the confirmation that we're looking for at the very end. Okay. So we've got, let's see, some major, major, major... And then we've got some fire, some court cards. We've got some fire, some court cards, a lot of court cards. We've got one of every suit. So a nice balance of, of people around us, I think. We're going to see how this might be put into a little bit of context, okay? Um, I think with this star card, I think that you are really getting the help that you need this week, okay? Um, I feel like you're the type of person that tries to be as self-reliant as possible. I feel like you don't really... You don't ask for help. You don't. Um, you don't need help. I think that you kind of have this uh, this idea of you know spirits got the wheel, right? Spirits on top, and uh, you you trust in the process. You trust in yourself. You trust in the universe. So it's just it's almost like you don't really um, see the need to try to ask for assistance or recruit other people into your business. You know what I mean? I feel like you're just very very kind of like self-reliant, yeah, but like very reliant on the higher powers, right? Because we see all of these major arcana right here um, down the center of the path of the dove, kind of on the vertical axis here. So I feel like you're one, right now I feel like you're very in tune with the higher mysteries, the powers, the, the, uh, the occult forces, the spiritual forces in your life. I think have a very tremendous impact on you right now, okay? And first of all, I think that you're getting just tremendous assistance from the universe. You may be uh, noticing a lot of signs and synchronicities in your life right now. Uh, it could be that as soon as you start really thinking about something, it'll pop up everywhere you look, right? In every kind of interaction, out in the external world, there are a lot of confirmations, a lot of validation, right, coming from the external world. But what I feel like right now is that in your present situation, you kind of are in need of some assistance. And again, you're not the kind of person that's going to ask for it. But I feel like it's going to be, it's coming in. And it's almost like with all of these court cards here, I almost feel like there's just kind of a, a bunch of people that are rushing to support you right now. Okay. And these could be literal people, could be coworkers, could be friends, family. It could be the spiritual kind of entities, spiritual forces that are rushing to support you. However, all of these kind of, um, however these court cards kind of manifest in your life, they're, they're there as helpers, okay? So they could be, you know, guardian spirits. They could be, um, could be gnomes, salamanders, sylphs, the undines. They could just be um, certain aspects of your own being that are being projected externally and then kind of, helping. So just, you know, skills and talents that you didn't know you had, let's say. Um, but I feel like there's a situation. We've got the first first court card we come to crossing your path this week is the Prince of Pentacles. I feel like there is a particular project that you're working on that is, um, there's some kind of an obstacle. There's some kind of a struggle there. And it's almost like you need all hands on deck. It's like you need just uh, as much um, you know, as they say, manpower as you can muster, okay? And I don't like that term, manpower. That sounds very, very sexist to me. Um, but you need as, as many hands involved as you can, so all hands on deck, 
you know. Uh, but again, you're not the type of person that's going to ask for it. So it's just like you're going to try to either um, call forth the necessary powers from within you to accomplish this, or as I think, the universe is kind of going to send some helpers your way. Okay. And I think this project might be something related to a work or a career thing, but it's just, it's so crazy that we have just, it's basically all court cards and then the major arcana. Okay. So it's almost impossible for me to really understand where exactly this is taking place. If this is something in the home, if this is something at work. Uh, so take it how it resonates. You know, if this is, if you've got something that you're, you're working on at work, that's hit a bit of a roadblock and it's just like, you really need other people. If you, th I, I think if you stopped and thought about it, you do need some help here, but you're not the type of person that's going to admit that you're not the type of person that's going to ask for that. Okay. So with this Prince of uh, Pentacles here, it, it is this kind of like a physical project. So it's something that like, you know, maybe some kind of a construction or, um, I don't know, something physical, something that has like muscular involvement, you know, that's going to take the, the strength of your physical body. Okay. And I feel like you, you can't move this boulder on your own, though you're going to try and you'll keep trying until you succeed. And that could take a while. Okay. So I feel like there are, uh, there are a lot of other, we have, you know, literally we've got the, the earth, we've got the air, We've got the fire, we've got the water, court cards. Everybody's coming in to assist, okay? All different types of people. So it could be that you're working on a project now that kind of um, <clears throat> requires people of different specialties. You know, you need the uh, someone who's just strong and laborious. You need someone who is just more intellectual and can problem solve. You need someone who is... Um, more of a leader. You need the leadership kind of person. You need someone that can kind of read the cards and, and figure out what some of the unseen influences are. You know, it's like you need people with different specialties. So it's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is that you're working on. And maybe you'll leave me some comments and let me know if this is a work thing that's kind of going on. But I feel like suddenly there's a lot of people around you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the one thing that we could kind of touch on is that maybe these people are coming around you and yes, everybody's going to contribute. Everybody has their own specialty, their own job that they can do, their own special way of contributing. And maybe once this is done, it really is going to be a tremendous celebration. You know, maybe this really is going to be just a magnificent accomplishment for everyone involved, everyone involved. Uh, let's go to the recent past now before we get too wrapped up in this because I don't know how much more we can really say about this. It's just, there's a lot of people here. Okay. Uh, in the recent past, we see a four of wands. I think within the last four months, um, something you've made a transition of some kind, maybe into a new role in your company, maybe, uh, maybe a new company, maybe a new career. Maybe, um, you've got, you, you were put on a new project or you began some new project because I feel, I feel almost like you've, um, <clears throat> you've done the work to get to this point. It's almost like your, your education or your training maybe, or your, um, your probationary period has ended. And now you're really just kind of thrown into it. It's like, okay, now the work really begins. You know what I mean? So it could be that, uh, the training for the last maybe four weeks, something, four months, maybe. <clears throat> but in the last sh relatively short period of time, you've completed this training or this probationary period, or you've completed the uh, kind of ele elementary stages of this work or this project, and now the real work begins. Okay, now it's really now it's really coming out. And there may or may not be an Aquarius person involved here. There may or may not be. Um, an H name, either the company that you work for, the project, or maybe the, the, I feel like the challenge is some way related to an H name. And I don't know, I don't know if this person's the challenge or if this is representing the challenge, but this is definitely something that needs 
the physical, like this is the boulder that needs to be moved. Okay. And I think this is really you trying to move it on your own. Now, what we see above everything on the path of the dove is this sun card, the 19th mystery of the tarot. I think that you maybe have received some sort of recognition. Like, I think it's starting to feel like you really got you really got put into a kind of um, star position, like a real, like, it's almost like all eyes are on you now, or that like, you've gotten that promotion or you've passed your training and now you're kind of thrown into the fire. But I feel like you're in a position where everybody is kind of like looking at you, like, okay, what do we do? Or looking at you as if like, okay, what are you gonna do now? So I feel like every, like, I feel like we're kind of the center of attention in some way. And I think that this is also contributing to this factor of like, okay, I need to do this on my own. I need to like not, not admit that I need so much help, not admit that I can't do this on my own, you know? And so I, I feel like there's kind of a, that's, it's kind of a mixed bag there, right? Because in, in some ways it's a really positive quality to be able to admit that, hey, I can't do this on my own and I need some help. But there's a fine line between that and just being lazy and weak where it's just like, I can't do this on my, I need someone else to do it for me, you know? And I think you're not really sure where that line is in this situation. So you're just saying, I'm going to just do it myself. I'm going to uh, somehow, some way, I'm going to call forth the energies and I'm going to get it done. I think as you do that, other people are going to come into the situation of their own accord uh, through this kind of resonance or harmony, this, you know, the synchronicity and the appropriate help will be there even without you asking. Right. And I think that's kind of like the, um, the magical solution to this problem, because you don't want to ask for help and admit that you can't do it, but you don't want to be so stubborn that, you know, the people that are watching think, wow, this person really doesn't know when to ask for help. You know, they're not a team player. So I think that these people coming in and helping you is going to solve that problem where you're not going to have to, you're not going to have to decide where that line is. You know what I mean? But I think all the eye, all eyes really are on you right now. And I think it's, it's your turn to shine. It's your 15 minutes. So, uh, what, are, how are you going to perform? What are you going to do? You know? And with this, Sun card as well. I almost feel like this may be something health related. I don't know if it's like a healthcare job. If you suddenly now are, are in a kind of more starring role in your healthcare profession. Um, but I feel like there's something here where it's just, I don't know if patients are the ones that are like looking at you like, okay, what are you going to do now? Or if it's your coworkers, or if you're, like I said, done with school or training and now you're kind of put into the spotlight and people are just going to watch. Well, let's see how they act. Let's see how they, they handle this responsibility or the, um, the intensity of this, this job, right? Underneath everything, we see this. This is the line. This is the Ardor Temperance card. This is you trying to figure out where that line is, right? This is trying, trying to reconcile these uh, pairs of opposites, like the asking for help, being a team player, or like, doing everything on your own, being self-sufficient, independent, being strong enough to do things on your own, not always needing someone to come and save you, you know? So this is you trying to reconcile that. And I think um, this is the real lesson for you. I think this situation here is a learning experience in itself for you. I don't think this is the, the main focus. I think these readings tend to take on many different levels. And as we go through these cards, we start to see these other levels emerging. Okay, so I think the real issue for you is learning when to ask for help, learning where that line is between, you know, independence and, and, uh, and teamwork, you know. And this art or temperance card, it's down here beneath the surface. So this is like the underlying lesson that we need to, the underlying work that we need to do. Okay. And in the immediate future, we see this queen of swords. This could be your boss or supervisor. This could be, this is someone who is almost like 
Um, it's not the people that are kind of looking up to you, looking at you for what you're going to do. This is the person that's kind of looking down, observing the entire situation. Okay. And I don't know that these are really an earth sign person, an air sign person, a water fire person. I don't think that's the... I think this is more about energy than about their astrological sign, you know? I think this is like a supervisor or a boss or, you know, somebody that's kind of watching you and taking notes and kind of judging. They're going to write a report later about it. You know, it's like the assessment. This is the assessor. So I don't know who this is. Again, it could be a boss or a, a professor, a teacher, um, a supervisor, or someone even from outside maybe that's assessing things um, to see, see how you perform. Because I feel like, again, with that Four of Wands, you've just completed this kind of training or this probationary period, and now it's like this final test is here. It could be you're literally taking a test. Um, you know, but whatever the this exact circumstances are, these other forces represented by these court cards, which could be people, could be entities, spirits, energies, okay, intelligences, uh, could be you know unknown parts of yourself that are activated to come. They're coming to your aid, to your support, to uplift you, and to make this endeavor a success, whatever it may be. Moving over to the path of the serpent now, what do we got? More court cards. More court cards. The first one is in the position of your general energy. Um, this, this card is representing you and your energies. At the same time, it's representing yet another one of these forces that are coming in to assist you. Okay? These court cards can do both at the same time. Pretty amazing. In terms of your general energy, this is that kind of... Um, this is uh, the water of fire. Okay, so we have the water fire balance. The same that we see with this ardor temperance card. So this is telling me that this is kind of a manifestation of this underlying lesson, task, journey, um, you know, this underlying work that we have to do. And I think this is really you trying to be this fiery energy, trying to be active and engaged, independent, trying to be a leader, trying to be confident and assertive, and then also trying to be smart, trying to be compassionate, trying to be um, thoughtful. You know what I mean? Trying to really understand where the line is and how to balance this independence. And, you know, at what point does the leader ask for help? You know, like, where is that balance? And so this is you really, you know, like, literally doing that in this, this situation. And this is also someone who um, may be coming into the situation and trying to take that leadership from you, trying to almost be like, okay, you, you, you're not able to do it. Let me take over. And that's, and, and you're resisting that, you know, you're resisting that because I think that's, that's not really the line. You know, it's not, um, I don't think it's a mark of, of, a strong leader to just relinquish command and let somebody else take over when you maybe aren't accomplishing it as fast as they think you should. You know what I mean? So that's a little test in itself. Are you going to just say, okay, you do it and step back? Or are you going to say, no, I got this. Just wait, you know? And I don't know. There's so many court cards here. The, the, the options seem pretty endless for how this is going to turn out and what exactly these kind of incoming events are. I have no idea what this mystery card is going to be. I don't even know what kind of energy that should be to reconcile all of this. Let's keep going and see because in the environment we see now, it gets more and more complex. We started here with, well, no, we've got to go back even further. We've got to go back even further. We started here right, with the water-fire balance. Then we went here with the water-fire kind of activity, and now we go here in the environment with the fire-water situation, right? So a lot of fire-water combination, balance, striving for unity, striving to resolve these kind of, um, these opposing energies, you know? Uh, independence versus teamwork, and all sorts of opposites, all of the opposites. Knowing where that line is that's going to strike that perfect balance, this might be the adjustment card here. 
So in your environment, it is again people are looking at you to see where your line is, to see how you are balancing this situation. How are you balancing your own efforts, your own energies? You know,、um, how can you become, let's say, the servant leader? You know, or the、um, how can you be in the background, be a team player, but also be up front leading everything? You know, it seems like a paradox. You can't be a follower and a leader, right? I don't. Can we? Maybe we can. I think in the I Ching somewhere it talks about that the best leader is the one who follows. You know, you have to learn how to follow, how to accept help, how to、um, be a team player, really, in order to be a leader, to be independent. You know. You have to learn how to follow, if you want to be a leader. So maybe there's a little bit of that going on, but I think it's all of this fire, water juxtaposition, and the trying to figure out where that line is, and that's all through this situation that we're in, whatever it may be, some little thing at work, right? Some, maybe some test, maybe some actual physical、uh, exam test. You know, when I was in the、uh, <clears throat> EMT、uh, training. I was in EMT briefly.、Uh, we had to do the、uh, the kind of、um, you know the lab portion of our exam, right? There was the written test, sure, but then there's the the kind of physical part of it, the the laboratory exam where we had to do the physical procedures, and we were tested on that. So I kind of feel that kind of a vibe with you, and maybe it is healthcare. Maybe you are going through the、um, the、uh, laboratory exam in some kind of a medical training field or something like that, where now you know the the information intellectually, right? We don't see any swords here. You've already got that. You're you know what you're doing, but you've got to prove now. You've got to demonstrate that you can do it. Okay, and I think that's what we're talking about here. The next court card we have is the Princess of Cups. Now the Princess of Cups is、um, kind of young, right? Kind of、um, not very、uh, skilled at finding that that water element, utilizing that water element, that passivity, that following, that、um, kind of background role, that more yielding, that more adaptable energy, right? The fire energy is not very adaptable. It wants things to adapt to it. If it doesn't like these walls, it's going to just burn them down, and you know you're going to adapt to me, to my heat, to my my energy. The water, on the other hand, is okay. If there's a wall here, I'm just going to adapt to it. I'm going to fit in where I can against that rigid structure, right? So, how much are you yielding to fit into the rigid structure around you? How much are you willing to? Soften and yield and become like water, right? That's something you're still learning to do because this is the princess of cups. It's a young energy. It's still in its infancy. It's still learning how to do it, right? In、uh, in Rider Waite decks, this is the page. What's the page? But someone who's still kind of learning how to be a knight follows the knight around to kind of learn how to do it. So it's someone who's just beginning the journey, still kind of a neophyte at it, you know. And I think this is in the position of your fears, worries, and concerns because you don't want people to see you this way, to see you as still just a page, as just uh, 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 an infant here.、Uh, you want to have this kind of authority. You want to have this this aura, like you've been doing this for years and you know how to do it. You could do it blindfolded. I think intellectually you can. I think now it's just a matter of demonstrating it. You know. And next we see the Ten of Wands, and this is the furthest extent that the fire energy can go. So I think that in some ways you're going to exhaust this kind of、um, this confident, assertive, powerful. You're going to adapt to me, kind of attitude. You're going to take that as far as it can go before you have before you realize that you need to kind of go now into the water element. Okay. So it's almost like you're going to、um, use force and fire as much as you can. When you realize that's not going to work, to take out that wall, that rigid structure, then you're going to start becoming water. 
So this 10 of wands is going to become an ace of cups. I wonder if this mystery card is going to be the ace of cups. Because after fire comes water. After the 10 comes the ace, again, the number one. And that is kind of like, okay, the fire didn't work. We're going to try this water now, you know. And I think that's kind of what's coming. You're gonna, there's going to be a point where you realize that just, just brute force and fire is not going to solve this problem. There needs to be a balance, a yielding, a fire water kind of blend, right? But let's see what this mystery card is. What did I say? Maybe adjustment. Because the air also, you know, the adjustment card is related to Libra. Libra's air, and it is the air that kind of mediates between the fire and the water balances the fire and the water, okay? And maybe this is that that air to balance everything, to signify the, the appropriate blending of all of this, because that's the work that you're doing, trying to find this is beneath everything. This is the underlying energy. It doesn't mean we've attained that yet. So let's see if this is something about that. Well, this is, we're back to the fire now, two, two of wands. So it seems that you still have a further lesson here. You still have some more work to do because if you do expend all of your fire energy, you realize that it's not going to work, the brute force and fire, you're not going to be able to take out that rigid structure. You're not going to be able to take out that wall. It's almost like instead of then adding in a little bit of water, it seems like you're just going to try to dial back the fire. Like, okay, well, maybe I just used too much. Maybe I can still take out this wall but I've got to use a little bit less force and fire, be a little more subtle about it. So, you know, in some ways, this is a, a step in the right direction. This is going back to a more balanced fire energy. So it's still that assertive leadership, but then it's a, a leadership that is now maybe um, accepting this incoming help, but still being the leader, right? So it's almost like you're, you're saving face a little bit. You're not just letting these people come in and take over, you are letting them come in to help, but you're still the leader. And so it still makes you look and feel and be uh, apparently in charge, directing everything. Okay. So this isn't quite water, but I think it's, it's pretty, pretty good step. You know, we're going to take a look in the extended to see if we can maybe get some of that water or that reconciling air into this. Uh, if you want to watch the extended, you have to become a member to the channel and that's easy. Just click on that link follow the instructions. And you can have access to all of the extended readings that we do for every sign, for every week, and the monthly videos as well. This was your weekly tarot reading for February 19th through 25th on Dove and Serpent Tarot.